Hi, I'm Paul from Norton. Welcome back to Ask the Experts. Now, today we have a question from Thor in Norway. Now, Thor wants to know what are grinding discs made from? Okay, so here we have um, a grinding disc, but while we're doing that, we'll also cover cutting discs because essentially they're made of the same, uh, same components, so we might as well do the two together. Okay, so first component in, uh, in these products is this stuff here, which is what we call uh, reinforcement. This is a fiberglass reinforcement that all of these, uh, both of these type of products have have inside them, and that's to give them strength. Um, in a, a grinding disc, we will have three layers of reinforcements because these take a lot more uh, side pressure. Okay, so when you're using a grinding disc, you're using it like this with a powerful angle grinder putting pressure downwards. So we have to put three of these reinforcements in the grinding disc to make it strong enough to, to be used in that way. Whereas a cutting disc, because we actually want it to be thin, uh, so it's easy to actually cut through the material, we only actually use two reinforcements in, in the center of that disc. That's why we, uh, we never, uh, well, we absolutely forbid ever to be using a cutting disc for anything else but cutting. So we do not grind with a cutting disc because they're not designed uh, for that at all. Second component, abrasive grain. Okay, so here we have a bag of abrasive grain and Depending on what grain you want to use, depends on what you actually want to do with the disc. So we have silicon carbide for stone, we have aluminium oxide for steels, and ceramics for more exotic alloys or stainless steel. And of course the grit size again depends on uh, what the job, whether you want it to be aggressive or uh, not so aggressive. So that's the abrasive grain. Here we have uh, the fillers and the, the, the bonds that we use to glue all of these uh, components together in this bag here. I won't open the bag, otherwise it's gonna be everywhere. Uh, so that's the bonds and the glue. And last of all, we have uh, the metal ring. Okay, important part here because that sits on the center of your disc here and saves your flanges. Also make sure you get a nice firm grip on your grinder when you tighten the flanges onto it. Also really important, the metal ring contains a validity date. Okay, so these products do have a shelf life, normally about three years, as it's, this bond is organic, so it does go off over time. So here you will find your validity date on your, on your disc also. Thor, I hope that answers your questions. And if, if you guys have any more questions, please pop them down on the comments and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Cheers.